Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we will be setting up a TP-Link AC1300 Wi-Fi adapter on a Kali Linux host system. Yes, you heard me right. Even though this particular version of network adapter is compatible only with the Windows or the Mac OS version. But today I am going to give you a step-by-step -step guide how we are going to set up this on our Kali machine and conduct effective penetration testing and ethical hacking by using a dedicated network interface. So let's get started. Today we have a quite interesting topic to tackle. As you might know, the majority of the network adapters available in the market today don't support features like monitoring or packet injection. These features are crucial for network analysis, penetration testing and ethical hacking. Here I have a list of wireless adapters that support the monitor mode and packet injection. But as you can see, they have a pretty old manufacturing date. Okay, even like in the uh, network adapters that have been manufactured in 2016, 2017, finding them in the market is quite a challenge. And not to mention, they might be come with their own set of compatibility issue. But guess what? While I was going through uh, all the uh, this endless list of adapters, I came across a TP-Link Archer T2 Plus. It's a fantastic and affordable network adapter that does support packet injection. You can even find it on Amazon with a price range of between 1000 to 1500 rupees. However, there's a catch. It doesn't offer out-of-the-box support for Linux, which is often the operating system for many IT professionals and ethical hackers. But don't worry, that's what we are here for. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of configuring and installing the driver on your Linux machine. And by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use the adapter for network penetration testing with your Linux setup. So let's get right into it. So before we proceed furthermore, make sure that your system is up to date. So for that, let me quickly run this command apt update and apt upgrade. Let's uh, yeah. upgrade. And just for the reference purposes, this is the Linux version which I'm using on my system. And you could see, okay, here it is. I'm currently right now using the version 2023.2. So just give it a minute or so and uh, we will proceed furthermore once our system is up to date. So as you can see that my system has been successfully upgraded. Now let's proceed with the next step and first find out if the network adapter is being recognized by my Kali machine, yes or no. For that, I am going to enter iwconfig command and basically going to show me all the wireless interfaces that are uh, connected with my system. And here you can see that we have none. That's obviously because uh, uh, our wireless adapter is not getting recognized by my Kali machine because of the uh, incompatible drivers but all we have to do is we need to basically find a driver which is compatible with the chipset that is being used into our Archer T2U plus and for that uh, while I was going through it I got to know that they are using RTL 8811AU chipset for which you can easily find out the uh, drivers file from, from a github repository for which I already have the link with me I'm also going to mention the link down in the description. You can uh, use it from there as well. So once we are into the directory, all we have to do is to click on the code and uh, clone, like copy the URL, get into my terminal. Let me just open a new tab. Okay. And type git clone. And here it is. So get clone. Let's get in, in inside the folder and see like what uh, do we have here. LS. So all of these are basically the driver files and we need to compile the source code of it and then only we can proceed with uh, installation. So in order to compile all the source file for our drivers just type make and it's going to get the job done for us. And uh, okay here you can see that we have come across some uh, problem statement. And it seems so uh, that the issue is with our kernel headers or they might not be installed at all. Now the kernel headers are used to compile the driver against our specific version of the Linux kernel and we can get it sorted by typing a simple command. Okay, which is apt install linux header hyphen dollar uname hyphen r. Here our uname hyphen r basically going to substitute the current running kernel version uh, on my system and press enter. 
and it's going to install the header files so just let it go okay now it has been successfully installed now what we can do is type the command again make and uh, let's compile the code so here you can see that right now it's compiling all the source files which are required uh, for the driver installation Also, uh, do keep in mind that you should be cautious while building and installing software from source and it is generally recommended to use trusted repositories or the official website whenever possible. Building from source should be your last option and it is usually not recommended unless necessary due to the potential security and stability issues. One eternity later. So after waiting for 5 or 10 minutes, you can see that the source code has been successfully compiled and it is ready for installation. Now in order to install it, it's really really easy. All you have to type is make and install and it's going to take the compiled code and install on your system. Press enter. And it's going to take uh, again, it's like sweet time in order to install it. Okay, so here we are. So we have successfully uh, like installed the drivers on our system. Now what we have to do is uh, let's type the iwconfig command again and see if the network adapter is been recognized by our system, yes or no. Okay, so it's not yet been recognized. So what you can do is you can type sudo reboot or uh, basically you can just restart your system and after restart uh, it will be capable in order to find it out. So we have successfully rebooted our system. Now let's go to the terminal and see if uh, it's now capable in order to identify our network adapter, yes or no. And here you can see that now it's uh, successfully recognizing my network adapter. It's VLAN 0. It's uh, at the real tech and uh, that's our, all the details for it. And that's how you can basically configure the network adapter on your Linux machine and proceed furthermore with your penetration testing. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide how to set up your TP-Link AC1300 Wi-Fi adapter or Car Linux host system. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. And if you have got any topic suggestions for the future videos, I had love to hear those too. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Till the next time, happy hacking.